you know, we love being surprised. And and so I, I thought it was really a bummer that, that that got out there. They worked so hard to keep that yeah. a secret. Congratulations on your book. I actually have it right here. I absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. And you talk a lot about being a single dad in the book, obviously. And you recently said that Ben wants a second daddy. Anyone in the running? <laughs> I'm open. Who do you got? <laughs> I don't know. I know you talk a lot about Brazilian Andy Samberg in the book. Is that is that still in the picture? He's not looking for kids. He was at my sh he. I saw him yesterday. Actually, he has a mm -hmm. new boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, but is a he's a wonderful guy. And I, you know, I remain close with all of my exes. I'm mm -hmm. that kind of guy. Like it's never so bad. The breakup is never so bad that I can't be friends with them. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Do you ever hesitate before introducing your kids to boyfriends like Brazilian Andy or anything like that? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I haven't had a boyfriend since I've had the kids, so mm -hmm. we'll cross that bridge. Yeah. Any advice for new dads out there? Get in touch with your patients mm -hmm. <laughs> and your life is not your own anymore. Yes, it all changes. I've got to ask, uh, baby Dior dress from Jen Shaw. You said you felt guilty about it. Has Lucy ever worn it or did you donate it? <laughs> I donated it. Did you really? I love it. Never going to wear that one. Um, coming off a big Real Housewives of New Jersey finale, this uh, reunion was intense. You know, if we find out that it's true that Louis was investigating the cast, do you think that, like, is that taking it way too far? And could his future on the show be in jeopardy at all? Well, he's married to a cast member, so it's okay. really about whatever is going on with Teresa. Yeah. Um, but, um, so, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like if Teresa, Melissa, and Joe aren't speaking at the time that filming commences, can you envision that a Real Housewives of New Jersey with that type of dynamic? I can envision anything. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. You know, there's been a lot of talk that maybe Melissa or maybe Teresa won't be back. Can you, I, I mean, I can't picture a Real Housewives in New Jersey without the two of them. Can you? Um, I can imagine anything. <laughs> you can imagine anything. Watching the finale. But no, it's hard. I mean, it's hard. Of course, it's hard to imagine the show without either of them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Was it was that a really tough re reunion for you to kind of be at? I know you said it was a very yes. tough reunion. Yes. Uh, what was the most shocking part for you? It was just their level of hatred was at a 10. Yeah. Out of all the reunions that you have hosted, what would you say is the saddest reunion moment? That was one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That was one of them, yeah. You know, Scandal took over the nation, took over the world, actually. But do you agree with Lala when she said that maybe reality TV isn't for Raquel and that maybe she should take a step back? Um, I think that I, I can't speculate on what's right for her. I think she, it sounds like she's taking care of herself and that's what she should be doing. Mm -hmm. Surprised that Schwartz said that he was going to take a permanent break from Scandal? I mean, I think we're all taking a permanent break. <laughs> right. yes. We're scan of all fatigue. Yes. Have there been discussions about Kim Zolciak possibly coming back uh, full time after the split? We are in the middle of um, airing, you know, right. a new season of, of Atlanta. So we're not really looking at casting for next season. Yeah, you know, um, right, now. right, right. Have you spoken to her? Is she doing OK? I did speak to her. It sounds like she's going through it. Yeah, no, this was one I did not see coming. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know, Meghan Markle said your conversation on her podcast was tough and that she was had conflicting feelings about the housewives. And you wish she had said that to you. Will you invite her on Watch What Happens Live to further this conversation? I would love for her to come on Watch What Happens Live. Yeah, have those, uh, have those invites been sent out? I'm sure we've invited her, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. You know, there was this rumor going around that Megan didn't conduct her own podcast interviews. I know that you sat down for an interview on the podcast. Did you actually speak with her? Of course I did. And yeah. she definitely did. And she, that's an insane rumor. <laughs> right, her I know. podcast right? is conversations with people. How would she not have, of course she did. I know there was these rumors that they said that they edited like a producer did the interviews and they edited her. Absolutely questions. not. And she was quite well researched and well informed and thoughtful. And thoughtful. Um, have you had conversations with the ladies from Beverly Hills? How is this season going, you know, without Lisa Renna? How is the dynamic kind of shifted? The season and went great. It's fresh. It's new. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. And I am. I love it.
Yeah, I'm in the midst of I, I have the screeners for the Roni, the new Roni, and I'm oh, loving good. it. I'm loving it so far. It's oh, really good. good. It makes me really happy. Yeah. How, how? What was your first reaction when you saw these first few episodes? Well, we've been working on them for a while, so I mean, they were they were. The thing about it is, I, I what's important is once we started shooting with the women, I was like, oh, we cast the right group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's it's it's really fun. I'm excited for people to get to know them. And I think once people hear their backstories also, it's really powerful. Yeah, no, it's a great group of women. How did um, Roni Legacy go? How did the uh, Ultimate Girls trip, how did that, how did that go with everybody? Really good. Yeah. Really fun. Are you yeah. really excited about it? Yeah. So this, um, this is kind of a, was a surprising story. And I'd love to know if you would ever take Pat Sajak's place on Wheel of Fortune, hosting Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> dream job. I would love to. That would be incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, not only is a game show the thing that I haven't done yet, but that is the, you know, premier game show. Mm -hmm. um, it's really fun. He's done. I think that he is um, underrated. I don't think people understand how hard it is to host that show and what a good job he does. And um He's smart, he's funny, he's a great host. There's a reason he's been on for so long. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, that would be a dream. Yeah, if you, if you didn't do it, who else do you think would be great at that position? I don't know, let's keep talking about me. <laughs> let's keep talking about you. I'm sure I know the answer to this one, but what book do you recommend for everybody to read this summer? Daddy Diaries, the year <laughs> I grew up. And then finally, thoughts on Kim Cattrall's returning to And Just Like That. I know that you- I'm so excited. Yeah. I was really bummed on behalf of everyone at the show who worked so hard to keep it a secret that it that it got out. I just thought that that, that stunk that it got out. Mm -hmm. And I think that it would have been so exciting for people to be watching and for her just to pop up. That's, that's what's fun about you know, we love being surprised. And, and so I, I thought it was really a bummer that, that that got out there. They worked so hard to keep that yeah, a secret. Definitely, but it's still gonna be fantastic. Also, yes. I have to say, loving OC this season too. I love that Tamara is back. I think it's Great. fresh and so much fun. Are you are you enjoying the season too? I am, I'm really happy with yeah. it. Yeah, think, think the Trace Amigas will be back full-time, full force, maybe next season together? So. Yeah, I think so. I'm so excited that you are continuing your partnership with Fresca for their Secrets of Summer Sweepstakes. So tell me all about it and how fans can win. Well, I've been the number one Fresca Mix fan forever. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I've been a tequila guy for a long time. There's a new uh, variety pack of vodka spritz flavors out with mango uh, citrus and mixed berry citrus and pineapple citrus. I love the mango. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, this has been kind of my best kept secret that I've been mixing Fresco with alcohol for so long. <laughs> and we're encouraging people to share their secret at frescamix.com and they can win a chance uh, for a trip for four to the Hamptons, which is major, or a virtual Kiki with me and we can just gossip and I'll tell them whatever they wanna know. So there are a lot of potential prizes. I'm gonna be in Montauk handing out Fresca on June 30th. And by the way, did I mention low cow, no added sugar? I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. When when fans get the opportunity to ask you a secret, what's, what's that number one question that they always ask you? They always ask, who's your favorite housewife? Mm -hmm. Who do you want to fire? Right. Um, who do you secretly hate? <laughs> and that's what they always ask. Do you ask, do you answer them? <laughs> no, I mean, because also I don't have a favorite housewife. And I also, you know, I mean, hate is a big word. It is a big word. It is. What are you, um, how are you making the most of your summer with your two kids uh, this upcoming summer? You know, I am, I just, I'm working really hard right now. And then I've got a really good break at the beginning of July. And that's when I'm going to really focus on being with them and hang. I mean, I'm with them every day, obviously, but um, we're going to have a really great summer. I have a new beach house that I finished mm -hmm. and I'm really excited just to share that with them. I love that so much. I absolutely love your videos of you just being very real when it comes to parenting. I have two small ones as well, so I totally get it. But what would you say is the most challenging and humbling part about being a dad at the moment? Um, 
It's the tantrums. Yeah. It's I, really, I really navigating the tantrums. Mm -hmm. It can really, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I started my day with him ripping me out of bed at 6 15 mm -hmm. in the morning, which I can deal with, mm -hmm. but it's really the tantrums. I can't, because really you're just kind of supposed to let them pass and also just say, oh, I understand, you know, you're frustrated. I understand this must be upsetting, but it's, I need someone to calm me down. Right. The they they break your soul a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I totally get it. I totally, I had one like meltdown after like a swim day and I'm like in front of everybody. I'm like, this is so embarrassing. I can't, it's terrible. Yes. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub like and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.